Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. In this video, I want to talk to you again about the portal or employee center in ServiceNow. And I want to show you how to show more than just requests and incidents in the My Request link that's on the top of a, on the top of a service portal. Notice here on Employee Center, I've got a link to My Request. When I go to My Request, I'm expecting to see things that I submitted through the portal, right? So you can see here I have a universal request for my voice over IP phone is smoking. Um, I have an incident here for the internet is down. And then I have a regular request for uh, an ASR 900 or 9006. I think that's a router, Cisco router. Anyways, as you can see, I've got different things that can show up here. And when you click on them, you can see information about the thing you submitted. That's a fair expectation. In this case, an incident had a work order generated. Great. Um, what I don't see are things that I don't, aren't necessarily IT related. So not an IT incident, not an IT service request. But one that I got asked about recently was, what about a demand? What about if I'm using ServiceNow's project and portfolio management? And I come in and I submit a demand by searching for demand in the portal and I click on the new create new demand catalog item or as if we as admins know is a record producer of a demand. Um, I can do all this stuff. So we'll say uh, demo for YouTube. We'll keep it original. And then for um, my required fields, I'll just enter. Do I have some nonsense? Yeah, let's just put some. There we go. That's clever. Uh, there we go. There we go, and we'll put all that in, and then I'll submit my demand. Now that's great, I can see that demand after I submit it, but unless I save this link, I can't get back here. Um, if I go close that window up there and go back to my requests, I don't actually see that demand I submitted, and that's what I wanna show you how to do in this video. So let's make that demand show up by adding what's called a My Request Filter. So if you go into the service catalog, uh, we'll just say, we'll just type in catalog, I'm gonna go through the menu there real quick. Uh, the Not the product catalog, but the, the other catalog. Let's keep going, configuration, there we go, service catalog. So notice in service catalog, I've got my catalog builder, which you should check out if you haven't already. I've got some links to catalogs and open records. And I'm just gonna scroll down here to catalog administration. And we should see uh, a link for filters. Uh, there it is, my request filter. So that's the key thing you need to remember there. If I want something to show up on the portal in employee center under my request, I need to add a filter for my requests and you can do that here Now, notice they've got in this demo instance a bunch of them built out for HR for it looks like compliance um, some health and safety stuff and other things as you can see here but let's go ahead and search on demand let's do star demand now I'm searching the table field and notice I don't have a table the demand table in here at all that's DMN underscore demand we'll just be thorough do the same thing under here over title and I don't have anything for demands um, and now there is this active filter but trust me there's nothing there for demands so we're gonna create one I'm gonna click the new button and we're gonna create a filter for demand so I'm gonna put in here my demands and you'll see why I say my in a second and then we're going to choose the table which I said is DMN underscore demand we don't want the demand task we want the actual demand record itself that you submitted using that record producer on the portal I'm going to change this to desktop slash service portal making it available everywhere and then we're going to add some conditions and one number one will be submitted by I'm going to set this to a dynamic filter so it shows for the person who's viewing that page so submitted by is me and that's why I'm calling this my demand but then we'll also make sure that to follow the kind of similar setup for how that page is configured we're just going to show the state uh, our demands that are open right I typed in the wrong thing there so let's go to state and we'll do is one of and then we can choose draft submitted uh, let's use the right button here submitted screening let's see draft submitted screening qualified deferred and then I guess approved we just wouldn't want rejected or completed showing on open requests and that's it take a screenshot there that's all you need to do to get this in the portal I'm gonna hit save which should go ahead and make that part of the configuration for that portal now so I'm just gonna go back to the home page and then go back to my request up there at the top and we should see right away there's our demand that we submitted demo for YouTube and there's some other demands that I submitted for another customer when I was doing a demo um, and I got the idea to make this video if I open the demand that we submitted we see different information and this is where you might want to have some configuration done that's a little bit different notice on this one when we had um, it show up we 
didn't change anything about what's showing or how to configure that. So this is how you get them there. And then if you want more than just an activity log or the state that you can see right here, then you're gonna to need to do some other adjustments in order to get that demand information to show up if you even want it there. Um, usually at that point in the demand process, you kind of take over and have a business analyst working directly with the business. But anyways, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in getting demands or getting other task records to show up on the My Request filter within the ServiceNow portal or employee center. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.